All right, welcome in Tango Nation. This is Matthew here from Tango Man Tactical, and I wanted to do a follow-up video on the Elite Plate Carrier because I've gotten several comments about I didn't have it adjusted right. Um, it's supposed to adjust this way, that way, whatever the case was. It was fitting me fine. I didn't have any issues with it. But as I did go back and look at my videos, I noticed that the back portion was like way down here. And so I didn't realize that at the time. So I went back and I played around with it a couple different times and I have got it uh, where I want it now. Uh, like I said, I thought I did before, didn't realize how far that my back part of the plate was down. We'll look at something else too. We have the, we'll come in depth in a minute. Uh, the Elite plate, I mean the Elite backpack that mounts directly to the Elite plate carrier. And I will show you how it connects, disconnects, uh, so on and so forth. So I brought out my war belt again because I'm just gonna put that on I'm going to put this on. I'll put everything on first and give you an idea of what everything looks like on. And then I'll pull it back off. I'm not going to go back over the war belt again because we've already went over that. Uh, everybody knows, if you watch my videos, everybody knows what's on and in my war belt. Our main thing here uh, today, and I hope you're having a good one, our main thing here is to look at the readjustment I made on my uh, Elite plate carrier and the integrated Elite backpack. I think you'll really like that. Um, I know, to me, it's just ingenious how they've done that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my war belt on. Once again, this is just for effects, so you can see. We'll clear. Make sure everybody knows that. Okay, side arm in there, gloves there. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, just so everybody knows also. We're clear and there is zero ammo there is zero ammo in this uh, this is just in there for effect that's the only reason it's in there for uh, pick that up in a minute now I'm going to put this on go over a few things and then uh, we'll bring the camera in and I'll point out to you how to put on the, or how to take the backpack off and then how to put the backpack back on. Not that, not, not that it's some great mystery on how to take it on and off, but maybe maybe you're looking at getting one and you're concerned about how much hassle is, it's going to be to take it on and off. Now me personally, I'm just gonna leave it on. I'm not gonna concern myself with it. If I need to put stuff in my backpack, if I need to put stuff back here, I'll put it back there. If I don't, I'm just going to leave it on. I'm not going to worry about it. So, some others may not want to. May want to drop a pound. Uh, I, I don't even know if it's a pound, but you can look up the specs on Tacticon Armament and find out. But, okay, we're going to take this out. And this is the last time before. You just, everybody already knows this. You snap that. And I'm going to bring this over. Okay. All right. So, and I think I am going to move these. I'm pretty sure I am. Matter of fact, I'm just going to take them out right now. But, anyways, so if you'll look and, and see, uh, we're going to come in just a little bit closer. And I want you to see just how this is fitting 
See, the back is not sloped down. I know you can't see the black back plate, but you can see where the backpack is. But you can see where this is real close. I like to do my, I like to put my hands like this. That's kind of one reason why I had this. It, this was up so high and this was down below my pelt almost. So I've gotten all that taken care of. I even tightened it up a bit. Um, we're running five magazines now instead of three because like I said, I may take this, may take these off. I don't want anything to interfere and cause a nuisance, so to speak. But uh, just give you a quick turn around so you can see exactly how it's fitting me. And most everybody already knows this. I'm five foot 11, 200 pounds, 44 inch chest, 34 inch waist. And these are the eight, I mean the 10 by 12 plates on these. Okay. Um, so when we're going to pan back a little bit and now, you know, I've already cleared this weapon just to make sure everyone's understood. That is a clear weapon. Okay. So, you just gotta figure out what you're gonna do with it. Please don't, please don't get in the comments and say, your, your, your sling's not right on your gun. Your sling's not right on your gun. This isn't even the sling that even runs on this particular gun right here. This is just what I picked up for the moment to put on here. But you get the idea. Uh, there, that makes you. Because I got two attachment points, two front attachment points on this sling. So you could have it like that. You could do that. Uh, and you'll be fine. And so you still, you're able to grab on this, put that out, and have that, and it doesn't, doesn't feel real bad, but you get the idea. So, what we're going to do now is, is I'm going to take this off, and most everybody knows, you just, bam, grab both of them, pull it up and over, out. You could just take the one off, like usually I keep one on it, and then I just slide through. But that's just it's fun clicking both of them. Uh, okay, we're gonna come in a little closer, and we're just gonna show that obviously we had the three mag carrier. This is an additional two mag carrier to give us five, because like I said, I'm thinking about getting rid of this right here. So that just puts more mags up there. Now, uh, I do have a different uh, flag up here, a different uh, morale patch. This is the one with the IR laser. It hits it, so I may have said that in the last one, I don't know, I have no idea. But, as we turn this around and we look at the Elite Backpack, there's, there's tons of things on this. You've got a pouch here that can open up. You connect these in and you've got like, a, like an open dump pouch almost. Like an open dump pouch. Put whatever you want in there and you take these and you hook them in right there and you can hook them in right there and then you've got like I say you've got whatever whatever you want to do whatever floats your boat there. I myself I just prefer to keep it tucked up and not worry about it unless I absolutely have to need it pouch up here and it comes with some extra uh, male actually female the male 
This right here, and I'll show you a little bit more even here in a minute, where when you hook this on to part of this buckle system, that your molly is going to slip through there. Like, for example, you're going to slip it through there like that, push it all the way forward, push it all the way forward, and then you're there. So that shouldn't be too hard to, you know, get that and then just take it right back off. But that's part of what's holding this backpack on, this system. Now, I have had, I did put my cold steel Tanto over here using some Molly straps, some plastic actual straps that uh, you can press these buttons and it will, it will come right off. I'm going to put a lanyard on this just so for some reason uh, it doesn't come out, but it's actually... Well, I thought it was going to stick. But, here, so I may put it back around, I don't know. Okay, now let's focus on the backpack. Okay, you got your carry handle, just like on your chest rig, it's got your carry handle. You've got just an absurd amount and I'm not going to go through all inside of it. It's just got pockets and zippers and a place to put a, your, a pistol. And it's just loaded full of things. <clears throat> now, to get this backpack on, it comes with regular backpack straps. Just like, you know, a high school backpack. It comes with regular straps. You'll take those straps off. And they are very simple to take off. Because you will not be needing them anymore. So, your, pack, your band on the back there, you lift, I'm just going to do, do one side right now, but you lift that back, and if you'll notice that right there, you take that, and you slide that through, tighten it up, and then put that back over the top, press all that down, obviously you're going to rinse and repeat, you're going to come over here, do the same thing, and you're there. Now, that's your upper shoulder contact points. And then you'll have, in the center here, you will have your, your, a buckle system right here. This is already on the Elite Plate Carrier. It'll already be on yours uh, because there is no slit in it like it is on this one. See how different that is? This one's got the slit so it can go into Molly. This one is already through the Molly, and that's where it's staying. But you'll click that there, rinse and repeat. Over to the other side, you'll click this into there. And that comes around through here, and you can loosen and tighten it up. All that just depends on you, where you how, how you want it to feel on your body, so to speak. Then your last point, <clears throat> and I'm assuming you probably can do several, several points. Your last point is going to be what you have right down here. That's coming off your plate carrier, okay? Coming off your plate carrier, I guess you probably could use that one too, but, uh, and then we have another place where you can, we, we can put that in there if we want to. No. I'm, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm thinking backwards on that. This is where you would attach like your straight, your D, uh, your, uh, I call it seat belt, seat belt, uh, cord because it just it looks like a seat belt. But that's where you'd run that through, uh, just like this stuff here. It's going to run through it. But this bottom one here, that's going to click in like that. And on the other side, same situation. Um, well, that one, that one. Where is my other one at? I done lost a. I done lost a point here.
So once again, I mean, it's the same, same situation. Shoulder straps, side, and then the bottom. Then on the back of this, there's huge Velcro that runs all the way down through there. And when you pull, there's a, there's a, a piece that goes on here that uh, mates to this to keep it from sticking to any Velcro if, if you're just wanting to wear it like a backpack. But it's designed to pull the center strip off of the backpack and then pull the... Uh, So now you can see, you've got this, and that goes right up against the molly on that. So you can see how that's working there. That just goes right in. You kind of, you can determine where you want it, where you want to put it. And go from there. Okay. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal putting this thing on and off. It's quite simple. And uh, with I've got a few things in here, not much, but I mean you can see how much it can, it can compress. Or once again, you know, once you load it up, it can come out. I'm not sure how many liters this is. If this is like a 20 liter, it looks like it's more like a 20 liter or a 18 liter, but you probably, I don't know that this would work for a three-day assault pack. You'd probably want another uh, backpack for that. But just to have this on your person would be a great benefit. Uh, being that you could put some light medical in it. You could put, uh, you know, put an extra pistol in there, uh, extra ammo, extra mags, whatever the case may be. It's just, it never hurts to have more room. More room, more places to put stuff. So. I'm gonna put it back on one more time. So I'm just gonna do this. That makes sure my hair looks pretty. Okay. All right. So, now, you get the idea there. It's on, and once it's on with those six Three on one side, three on the other, then the Velcro strip in the middle, it's not coming off. It's just not coming off. And as I showed you, there's extra loops and extra holes. You can just, you can spend two hours attaching it if that's what you want to do to make sure 100% sure it's not going to come off. Heck, <clears throat> you probably could zip tie it if that's what you wanted to do. So, uh, this is my, uh, It's my little commando mask when I go out in the woods uh, so I can be sneaky, man. But anyways, so leaf plate carrier, I got it fitting real good, fitting real tight, real snug. Don't have the back hanging down to my, my, rear, my rear end. Got the plates on real good. Backpack's on. It's not going anywhere. Like I said, I'm more likely just going to leave it on. But if you're on the fence about this backpack <clears throat> and you got the elite carrier this is a no-brainer i mean it's just it's it's something you shouldn't even have to think about uh so but i want to do this follow-up video so i could show people that i didn't realize that i did have the back running down so far uh i just knew how it felt here and i thought well that's fine then I went back and watched a couple of my older videos, and I seen where the, it was all the way down. I thought, no, we can't do that. Uh, but um, I wanted to correct that. And then I wanted to show anybody that was on the fence about this Elite Backpack, how it would look and how it looks on the plate carrier. It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer to get that and put that on. And it can come right off. You can put the regular shoulder straps on, and then it has a sternum clip that comes up through here, just like a back, normal backpack. 
and you could leave that off and not run it. But as I said, because I'm still trying to work on my cardio and I'm still trying to work on some strength training because I'm utterly out of shape, I'm just going to leave it on and may even throw a little extra weight in there too. So when I get to the range and I run some drills, I'm going to be doing two things at once. I'm going to be obviously running my drills, but I'm going to be doing some strength conditioning also at the same time. So <clears throat> hopefully from this, you can see that I got it adjusted right. Uh, put some more mags up in the front. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of these. But I may just leave them on for our times when I just want to wear a war belt. But I get, may get to where I won't actually run these in the side here. Uh, unless I'm just practicing with the war belt on uh, and not having a plate carrier. All right. Remember that Jesus loves you. Stay sober. Stay vigilant. God bless.